bam bottom line up front and there you go folks that's all the information that you need from this video but we're gonna get into this test what it is and why it's important right after I say thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video PCBWay makes custom printed circuit boards that's what PCB stands for and if you're into that that's fantastic they have tons of of different kinds of components, different kinds of boards. You can actually design your own board, send it to them. Then they have a service where they will actually manufacture your board and test it before they send it to you. So it's ready to rock and roll when it gets to your door. But if PCBs aren't your thing, they also offer rapid prototyping services to include sheet metal bending, injection molding, 3D printing, and CNC machining. So if you're working on a project where maybe you don't have the materials or the manufacturing capabilities for it, check that out because you can actually just send them your design files to create the thing that you want to create and they will make it for you and then they will send it to you. It could be a lot less expensive than investing in like a whole CNC machine or something like that. So if that sounds interesting, check them out. Link in the description below this video. Thanks again to them for sponsoring this video. It helps very much. Okay, the DJI O3 Air Unit, all right? This is the latest and greatest for the digital FPV system. This is currently the, the latest one from DJI for FPV drones, and it's the new hotness, right? Well, the problem is it's a little too hot, and it actually tends to, to, to get very hot and actually overheat to where it will stop recording the high-quality video. That's part of the, the point of why this thing is so cool and so expensive, because you can record up to 4K video, I think at like 120 frames per second or something crazy or if it gets too too hot it will actually just shut down and so you could potentially be flying and then just get a blank screen and it says sorry dude we're too hot we're shutting down and that's not acceptable in my book now you might be thinking hey adam you're an idiot because your propellers are going to be spinning all right on your drone and you're going to have airflow and so it's not going to overheat when you're in the air and i'm like well i know that but the problem is is that i want to get these particular shots uh for example what i want to have is somebody holding on to the drone carrying it around like it's a regular camera okay so we're recording for a few minutes maybe you have to wait for the right time maybe you're doing multiple takes blah 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 so you know at least like five minutes i want to be able to record and then arm the drone safely of course and take it off and then people are like what i thought this was just a normal camera they were carrying around this is crazy and that would be super cool and i tried this shot um but it didn't work out because the air unit overheated. And so I missed the shot of them going and running. Super bummer and super not cool. And I had underestimated uh, how quickly this would happen. I don't know, maybe a minute or a couple minutes. And so I was left feeling very frustrated and stupid. Okay, let's not let that happen again. And angry at DJI, which is which is how I feel pretty often at DJI. I mean, I, you know, they make great stuff, but you know, you kind of love to hate them. Anyway, that's the setup. That's the premise of why we would even want this information. Anyway, if you're watching this video, you probably already know that and you probably thought the same thing. And so the bottom line, which is what I gave you up front of this video, this thing is going to overheat very quickly on its own. So don't just leave it on somewhere. That's a terrible idea. Something to note is you will get a processor overheat warning. And what that means is it's going to shut down the recording, the onboard recording. You can still record on your goggles uh, and get that DVR, but it's gonna shut down the onboard recording. The next best thing you can do is to add basically more metal to it to distribute the heat and get it out of there. So in this case, we're talking aluminum cooling fins. The next best thing you can do is a fan, even just a little tiny fan. Like I used a, a 25 millimeter by 10 millimeter thick uh, five volt fan and that actually kept it cool uh, quite a bit better. And, and you know, that's just the airflow. That's like the airflow you'd be getting with your propellers. Now, the best thing you can do is actually combine both of those and then you're adding more cooling area and a fan and that is what will actually keep it cool for long enough to be able to record for about five minutes 4k 60 frames per second that's what i tested it as um and so the good thing is that 
if you ha- if you add that, it adds a little bit of weight. Um, and if you do add the fan, it adds some complexity. But you don't have to worry about it ever shutting down because it gets too hot. And ugh, that would be awful. And especially, also, maybe you're using a Cinewoop or something that flies very slowly. And maybe if the propellers aren't placed, um, you know, right so that the airflow is going over the air unit you could have this problem even while you're flying around i mean theoretically i haven't actually had that happen but theoretically that could be a concern maybe you're flying in the sun in the heat uh you know and and you just have not ideal conditions for cooling that's my case i live in north carolina it's very hot very humid um, and a lot of times there's not a lot of airflow. There's not a lot of wind and, and stuff uh, to kind of help in the cooling process. Given the results of this test, I've decided to use heat sinks or cooling fins and a cooling fan, um, and I'm going to install those on my little micro drone, the little uh, 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 Axis Flying Cineon 20, I believe it is. So I'm going to install, or I have installed that, and I may show that in another video. Um, and it's it works out pretty great because the fan turns on whenever the drone is on, but then it turns off when it's armed is how I have it set up. So I think that's gonna work really well. And of course, it does add a little bit of extra weight and you are using a little bit of extra battery power to power that fan. But again, it's like, okay, well, would you rather have like maybe 30 seconds less flight time total or just have the thing overheat and then you can't even cool it down in time to get the shot and that's what really drove me crazy when when this when this thing failed on me uh when i was trying to get that shot because it overheated and i'm like dang it so i start blowing on this thing like i'm playing the harmonica you know on this drone it still didn't uh, cool it down enough so that was like super duper disappointing and i was like never again and uh so that's what we're gonna do thanks for watching folks hopefully this was helpful for you if it was let me know and if you have questions um about this or maybe i missed something let me know in the comments Thanks for watching, everybody. Keep flying, and I will see you again very soon. We'll get, I mean, we get bars in our goggles.